The Minnesota Fighting Vikings have been hoping, waiting, wishing to find some stability at the right guard position, and it hasn't happened in recent years. Whether it's Pat Elfline or Dakota Dozier or last year Ole Udo, whatever. And now they spent a second round pick on Ed Ingram coming out of LSU. Also, they signed free agent Jesse Davis from the Dolphins for three million bucks. But Ed Ingram is ready to start. The Vikings need to stop being cowards and. Name Ed Ingram the week one starter against the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers and give him all of the first team reps, uh, the rest of training camp, as well as the rest of preseason. If you want to play in preseason, remember, you rest your starters. And Ed Ingram, uh, I think that he's already secured the job so much that just sit his ass down. I, I, I don't play him preseason. He'll, he'll be good to go. But if you do play him, he's got to be playing with the ones. Uh, he played 30 snaps at right guard against the Raiders, working with the twos and the threes. 87.3 PFF grade, only un pressure allowed. 84.4 grade in the run game. King Kenne, Ty Chandler did some great things uh, running uh, uh, after some of the blocks that Ed Ingram made. Meanwhile, Jesse Davis gave up a sack in only five snaps. But yeah, whatever. And Ed Ingram, uh, uh, 59th overall pick in the second round coming out of LSU. His forte is pass blocking. He, he seems to do pretty okay in run blocking as well. That was a knock against him because uh, he was dinged as not being explosive enough to succeed in outside zone scheme. Well, proved that wrong. Also has a great anchor. Frankly, he may have one of the best anchors on, on the Vikings, and he's just going to get after him, man. And Jesse Davis, after – all right, so – I isolated incident, whatever. Jesse Davis got put on his ass by Javon Kinlaw, the former first-round pick, uh, working with the twos, whatever, uh, whatever. But the main thing is the Vikings have been playing Jesse Davis on the twos uh, when he isn't getting a Veterans Day, and Ed Ingram has been running with the ones over the last handful of practices, and I think that is significant, and I think they are ready to move on to Ed Ingram starting because you know, Jesse Davis is 30, whatever. He's a valid, okay veteran starter uh, at guard. He's a bad tackle. He's a decent guard. But Ed Ingram is that future, man. Will Raggetts feels like today may have solidified Ed Ingram as right guard one to start the season. He's talking the first day of joint practices against the Niners on Wednesday. He got all the first team reps, all of them. While Jesse Davis worked with the twos, uh, then Chris Thomas and Pioneer Press go. Uh, Vikings tackle Christian Derrissaw is impressed with rookie guard Ed Ingram. Remember, Christian Derrissaw is Trent Williams. Like, like he is the new version of Trent Williams. So when he talks, you listen. Uh, Ed is a stud. He's one of the good ones for sure. I'm glad he's on our team. He's getting better every day. He's taking the coaching and putting it out on the field. The sky is the limit. And of course, the Vikings offensive line coach, Chris Cooper, a very solid guard back in the day with the Broncos. So he knows a thing or two about playing guard. And Ed Ingram is just soaking all that up. Uh, Thompson continues. Uh, Ed Ingram working on... Uh, Ed Ingram on working at first team guard today, quote, it's good. I've showed that I can roll with the big boys and stuff like that. So I just want to keep proving to myself that I can be in that position. And he certainly can. 100% that he should and could be the starting uh, right guard for the Vikings as they roll uh, into uh, historic U.S. Bank Stadium take on the greasy grimy Green Bay Packers week one. It should happen, man, because left or right, Darisaw Ezra, Bradbury, uh, Ed Ingram, and Brian O'Neill. That that is eighty percent of a fantastic offensive line. That is eighty percent of a offensive line that you can win a Super Bowl with. Now, questions about Garrett Bradbury? He's gotten better. He's gotten better. He played a, a pretty decent game against the Raiders. Just sort of flat line, not good, not bad, not whatever. But even even right in the middle is good for Bradbury at, at this stage. Uh, and also, Chris Reed has been dealing with a right arm injury, so. Who knows what's going to happen there in terms of the center competition? Uh, Austin Schlotman got some work at second team guard, excuse me, second team center during the preseason uh, game, uh, as well as at joint practice. So uh, I guess we'll see. But looking at this, this is a Super Bowl caliber offense, pending on center. All right, so you got Kirk Cousins, you got Dalvin, you got Jefferson Thielen, KJ, Irv Smith once that thumb heals up, and then Darisaw, Ezra, Ed Ingram, and Brian O'Neill. You're good to go. You're absolutely good to go. So the Vikings, they need to stop clown farting. Uh, so the Vikings need to stop clown farting around. I understand it's the whole make his, make the rookie earn his stripes. Like he has to go through trials and tribulation and earn his spot if he's going to start as a rookie. Blah, 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 blah. He's done that. He's done it. Ed Ingram in the offseason work in training camp and preseason, he showed that he is the best uh, op, best starter at right guard for the Vikings. It's not Jesse Davis. It's not Chris Reed. Uh, it's not Wyatt Davis. It's not anyone else. It is Ed Ingram's turn. 
It's his show. He needs to be starting at right guard right now. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. The Vikings need to name Ed Ingram the starting right guard. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.